I'm Nicola from Lab Life, and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a reading with a micrometer. Okay, so if we go to the close-up here, you can see that on this micrometer we are essentially working with a scale on this chamber here and a scale on the main shaft here. So if I just rotate this out of the way, you can see that on the scale here we've got millimetres. So on the top, it's like one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, and so on. And then on the bottom, you see we've got another millimeter scale down here. So on the bottom here, this is denoting every half millimeter on the micrometer. So if we were to go in order, we'd come to the bottom scale first, we get 0 0.5 mil, top scale for one mil, down back to the bottom for 1.5, back up to the top for two mil, and so on and so forth. And then on top of that, you can see on this rotating chamber that we have got up to 50 increments on this thing. So to work out the increment there, if we wheel it straight back to zero, and you'll see here that I'm using the fine toggle here, not the coarse one. If we hit back to zero, if I rotate this through the full 50 on the chamber, you will see that it takes me straight to that 0.5 mil mark on the bottom scale. So we know that 50 of the increments on this rotating chamber equals 0.5 mil here. So if we do the maths, we can work out that each increment on this rotating chamber is 0.01 millimetres. So in other words, if you've got 50 times 0.01, that gets us to 0.5, and we know that equates to the 0.5 mil mark on here. With me so far? Hope so. Right, so let's take a uh, measurement of something. I am going to measure this little spanner that comes with the micrometer. So I've opened it enough just to get this thing inside. Oh, I might have to just go off camera to tighten this up. I'll try and do it like this. And then again, I'm going to rotate this fine knob here, just so it doesn't over rotate. If you do it with the coarse one, it just doesn't stop automatically. This has got like an auto stop on, so it won't over rotate. Right, so let's have a look at what measurement it wants us to give. Nice. Right, so on the top scale here, Trying to get this in focus for you. On the top scale you can see that we've gone past the uh, one mil mark, on the bottom we've gone past 1.5 and then on top of that we have got, it basically depends where that um, mark on the main shaft of the micrometer lines up with the one on the tiny scale. So you can see that's five of these smaller increments. So essentially what we've got is we want to add five times 0.01 that's the value that we've got from the rotating chamber onto 1.5 mil from the main one. So it's 1.5 plus uh, 0.05, which is going to give us 1.55 millimeters, and that is going to be the width of uh, this spanner. Right, that's it in a nutshell. Thanks for joining, and I hope to see you next time.